Hello everyone, I am Gunashekhar and today I will be talking about talking pesticide. One day I met a farmer. He was sitting in a shop and asking the shopkeeper what is this pesticide, what kind of pest it can control and he is asking all the sorts of questions. The shopkeeper is an illiterate and he was blabbering something. So I thought we should provide clear cut solution to the farmer. Suppose a farmer wants to buy a pesticide. The farmer is a resource poor farmer, mostly illiterate, but for modern agriculture needs information about pesticides. Major expenses goes to pesticide applications alone. And the pesticides are poisonous chemicals in plant production. Information on pesticide usage is not immediately accessible and the language is gibberish and it is not even visible to. At the same time, pesticide dealer is having low literacy rate and he is not aware or trained about the pesticides. He is business oriented and farmer gets pesticides from the shopkeeper either for loan or cash. I am the farmer. I want to get correct information about pesticide. Who should I ask? What is this pesticide? What is the content? what all the pest it can control, whether it is a pesticide or fungicide or medicine. I want to know the exact information. Where can I get the information? For example, if you say even imidacloprid, the farmer wants to know what is this chemical. Someone will be there to tell this is imidacloprid, it belongs to neonicotinite group and the dosage is 125 to 150 ml per hectare and it can be useful for sucking pest. How to communicate about the pesticides? We have a huge number of channels, information tools, we will see one by one. The problem here is the farmer produces food for us and he needs information about precise information about cultivation practices, pesticides, practices and market. The farmer applies pesticides without knowing its correct usage and is solely depends on pesticide dealer is also illiterate. If you are not giving any enough information. The farmer will start using the chemical indiscriminately, overdose or sublethal dose is possible. Combination of various harmful chemicals is also possible. A wrong use of chemical instead of pesticide, it may apply its medicine. So farmer will be exploited because you don't know anything about the pesticide, you will be exploited and ultimately we get the contaminated food. Moreover, when we take the contaminated food, we will get health hazards, more expenditure to the government. Here the problem is availability of leaflet, readability of a leaflet, availability in the vernacular language. How to ascertain the end user gets the correct information? For this, we are the educated people. We need to educate the farmers for proper use of pesticides. To avoid indiscriminate use, to reduce the pesticide load in the food and environment. Because everything is a poison. We need to save the future generation uh, free from this uh, pesticide costing. More hospitals means more medical expenses, less than the unknown victims of pesticide costing. What are the critical information needed by the former? First of all, he wants to know whether it is insecticide, fungicide, or medicine. What pest it can control in its information, the dose, cost, whether it can be combined with other chemical, what is the waiting period. This is the critical information needed by the farmer. Because the current information system is not sufficient, there is no record, no prescription, only verbal, no evaluation. We need to empower the farmers with ICT tools and we need to eliminate unqualified pesticide dealers. We need to provide scientific, authentic, precise information to the farming community. The solution is talking pesticide. With cell phones, Without cell phones, websites, we have an empty number of options, we will see one by one. We have the cell phones, phones, cell phones, Android phones, smartphones. So if you have the normal phone, if a farmer is having a normal phone, you can use toll free call centers, SMS system and IVR system as in the case of gas booking. And if he is having Android phone, we have more options like barcode, QR code, Google Lens. Image scanner, virtual reality, augmented reality, artificial intelligence, and IoT. If you take the barcode system, each and every pesticide can be barcoded. It can be printed on the pesticide container. 
So all the former will be having the uh, Android phones. Okay, we have the image scanner. With this phone, we can read the URLs, and it can the URL can connect to websites, and it can give the proper information, correct information in its preferred language. Coded leaflets and apps, barcode or QR coded leaflets also we can provide audio and visual information. QR coded posters can be pasted in the shop. A development of uh, barcode or QR code based applications we can do it and we can use the virtual reality, augmented reality and the Internet of Things technology for this application. There are a number of other methods also possible. Uh, we can create an exclusive website to recommend the best site to the farmers. It can be in regional language. We can give the recommendation through East Ava centers. Even in WhatsApp, we can have an exclusive WhatsApp helpline number to the farmer. The farmer either can send the picture or crop damage or pesticide he wants to buy. In response, you should get immediate authenticated reply from the pre recorded message. The audio, video, or text messages, authentic message in local language, you should get. There is no need to change the design of the content, just change the act. We can also provide touch screen kiosk, as in the case of railway station. Even though each uh, uh, shopkeeper is having computers and you can give information about the farmers which is mandatory. What is needed? We need a dedicated staff, exhaustive planning, content writers, entomologists, pathologists, agronomists, and we need web developers, networking specialists, Android developers, videographers, and video editors. We need to do something for the farmers. And the outcome of this uh, talking business is if 10% of our farmers start using this app means we can have the 20% of pesticide load that can be that we can reduce the food. We need to use multilingual pan India uh, uh, softwares that is multilingual controlled application. We need to make such an amendments in the insecticide rules regarding labeling. Uh, we need to empower the farmer with ICT tools. Eliminate unauthorized pesticide recommendation that is the most important aspect of this talking pesticide. We can reduce the expertise to the farmers, we can reduce the load, pesticide load to the food. Farmer will get safe food, consumer will also get the safe food. We can get healthy citizens and we can get safe food for exports. You can offer your comments and suggestions. Thank you.